Hi everybody, here I have Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Generation 1. A few weeks ago I made a video review discussing the advantages and disadvantages of this model. In this video I'm going to show you how to change and upgrade the NVMe SSD drive. And if you have watched my previous videos about ThinkPads, you know the drill. The first thing that you should do when you're doing any kind of hardware modification or hardware upgrade is to disable the built-in battery. This is a special feature present on ThinkPad laptops. Turn on the laptop, after that quickly press Enter and from the next menu hit F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. The BIOS on this model is pretty advanced, you can use a mouse including the touchpad or the tracking point. From the menu on the left select config, after that choose the power and scroll down to the option to disable the built-in battery. Hit yes, immediately after that the laptop will turn off. This is a very specific feature for all ThinkPads that I have seen. It is just a safety feature, basically it cuts off the power from the battery, which means that it ensures that there will be no power in the system and this way the hardware cannot be damaged. It is important to know that the building battery will be enabled again automatically when you connect a power supply to the laptop. According to the technical specifications of ThinkPad T14S Generation 1 with Intel CPU, like the one that I'm having here in this video, it supports one drive up to 512GB of M2 uh, 2242SSD or 2TB of M2 2280SSD. In this case, I'm going to, to add an M2 uh, 0 NVMe SSD with capacity of 256 gigabytes. In order to access the hardware, I have to remove the base cover of my Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Generation 1. First, I'm going to remove the tray for the SIM card on the back. After that, using a screwdriver, I'm going to unfasten all the screws uh, on the base cover. And after that, with a plastic card, gently I will uh, remove the base cover from the main chassis of the laptop. The whole process takes some time and it's a little bit annoying, but you have to do it carefully. Now, thank to the magic of video editing I can fast forward. The third main step is to remove the old drive. For this you also need a screwdriver because there is a small screw that holds it uh, to the system board. Remove the screw and gently pull out the old drive. The next step is obvious, there are no surprises. It's time to add the new NVMe SSD drive. The process is straightforward, so I don't think I should go into a lot of explanation. You gently push the new drive in the M2 slot. After that, using a screwdriver, you fasten the screw that holds it to the system board. By the way, as an open source enthusiast, I use Linux on all my computers. I have pre-installed Ubuntu 24.04 on this NVMe E that I've just plugged into the uh, T14S generation one. The last step is to put back the base cover of the laptop and to fasten all screws. As you have seen, I changed the NVMe SSD drive on this Lenovo ThinkPad T14S. However, is it successful? Well, Lenovo provides a diagnostics tool to check if the disk drive is fine. Let me show you how to use it. Plug a USB power supply to the laptop, this way you will enable again the built-in battery. After that, turn on the laptop and hit enter. This time from the menu, press F10 to enter the diagnostics. This is another very specific feature of the ThinkPads that I really enjoy and love using. This way you can test the hardware no matter what kind of operating system you have. These diagnostics are part of the low-level firmware of the laptop. I haven't seen anything similar on low-cost computers, so this is one of the features that make the ThinkPads premium. There are various different tests which allow you to try out pretty much all the hardware peripherals available on the laptop. However, in this case, I've just changed the SSD drive, so I'm going to run only the quick tests related to the storage. Even these quick tests for the NVMe drive take a few minutes, but thanks again to the magic of video editing, I can fast forward and we can see that all tests pass, which means that the SSD drive is fine and the upgrade is successful. As I previously mentioned, I'm an open source enthusiast and I have already pre-installed Ubuntu 
04 on this NVMe SSD drive so I can reboot the computer and make sure that it successfully boots to the operating system. Let me fast forward to speed up the video again. I have enabled the automatic login on Ubuntu 2404. By default, this version of Ubuntu comes with the GNOME desktop environment. I have to say that Ubuntu works great on this computer, although this is a configuration that's three years old and has just eight gigabytes of RAM. Sorry for going a little bit off topic. I know this is a video just for the SSD upgrade, but I highly recommend you to consider switching to Linux if you're not a Linux user already. Everything looks good. Now you know how to upgrade and change the NVMe SSD drive on Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Generation 1. The process is straightforward and simple. Pretty much anyone with a screwdriver can do it following the steps in this video. If you like this type of content or if this content was useful for you, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. See you soon.